All right, it's Serious Sunday's video. Actually on a Serious Sunday for once, only by seven minutes. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that I was going to try and do these videos on the day they should be done, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, I did also mention that I was gonna live stream some of them. Again, what I'm doing. If you're watching live, hi. Uh, this wasn't actually the plan, but I'm running out of time, so uh, I'm going with it. Um, but yeah, where am I going from there? Today, today, yes today is Serious Sunday. So yesterday I did also mention that, uh, you know what, I should probably stop doing these so late at night. Today is not that day, clearly. It's seven minutes to midnight and I'm just doing this now. So yeah, anyway, but today was actually a very interesting day. Uh, at our church, it was uh, a day that we have every year and like in broad terms, it was a day of giving. So we give more than we usually would um, because regular giving is a thing that we do, um, or at least that I do. And I believe that Christians should do, but it was a, a day over and above our regular giving to give towards the vision, the mission, the purpose, and the actions of our working all of that of the church. And my wife and I gave to that this morning because it's something that we believe in and something that we believe we should be part of. So we gave, and um, this is in monetary terms, we gave some money. And you know what? We gave not expecting to get that back at any point. Like we gave because we actually believe, like I said, in, in the purpose, in the vision, in the mission, in the actions that the church is doing, in, and that is to reach people and help people more effectively. And this is in whole, all sorts of ways, like um, like community work, um, giving to people, helping people in need, all that kind of stuff. Um, the motivation being, you know, God loves us, we love people. That's, that's to break it all down at a very broad level and to try and sum it up really, really quickly. But you probably heard the idea of give and it will be given back to you. If you haven't, then maybe, well, you have now, but it gets thrown around a lot in Christian circles and in, in, I guess, in church and stuff like that. And, you know, you sort of like, I don't know, you sort of, as a Christian, you're like, sometimes you feel like you don't need anything back. So, you know what we gave, we didn't expect to get anything back, but it was really cool because within the hour the amount that we gave was actually given back to us by someone else, as well as like some other stuff as well. And completely unexpected. We were not expecting it. We didn't give with the expectation of getting back. And it happened. It was really cool. Um, but beyond that, I want to go a little bit deeper than that. And if you've seen the, the intro for well, the, the text, the description for this live stream, it was Christians and money. And in thinking it through and in thinking like this whole experience through and... Um, just Christians talking about money, it seems to me at least that one of the hardest topics, if not the hardest topic to talk about among Christians and in the church is money. If you disagree with me, then speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, although you can watch a replay. So I guess you could comment below and you can disagree with me or you can contact me directly and disagree with me. But look, my point of reference or one point of reference for this was Jesus in the Bible. So uh, I'm looking at Matthew chapter 19 in the New Living Translation, verses 23 to 24. Uh, then Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you the truth, it is very hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. I'll say it again. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And that that does seem to be the case. Like it, Like I said, there's a lot to this. It's a very difficult topic to talk about, it seems, uh, within the church and Christian environment. And for all sorts of reasons, like, how do I explain this? Basically then, though, if you go on below that, into verse 25 and 26, the disciples were astounded. Then, who in the world can be saved, they asked. And this this is what Jesus said next, which was Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. Now, you probably heard that a lot if you've been anywhere in or around Christian circles or in a church, that basically God can do the impossible. But like even looking at it in that context, if he's calling a rich man being able to enter the kingdom of God impossible, obviously it's very hard. That's why I'm putting forward the idea. It's one of the hardest things to talk about. Um, and the other thing is this, and this is going into Matthew 6, verse 24. Uh, no one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. So basically, it's you've got the choice. It's either God or money. Which one comes first? Uh, and 
I think without knowing it, it seems that a lot of us put money first above God. And how do you know if you do that? Well, when push comes to shove, which one would you give up? If you had to do without one, which one is it going to be? Think about that. Um, but yeah, then that there's a whole bunch of stuff that stems under that. But look, basically, if if you've got one or the other as the most important, really, really only you actually really, really know that. Like your, your, what's the term? Like your true intentions, your actual attitudes and beliefs behind that, that's only essentially between you and God. No one else can tell what's going on in your head. Uh, you might be able to guess a little bit by outward actions, but that doesn't always necessarily reflect that because an outward action could go either way sometimes. Anyway, um, and yeah, that, that's really not for us to judge. That's a whole different topic altogether. But yeah, that, that's why it makes it really difficult. The other thing too is that if you don't have money, then it's quite difficult then to go, you know what, I don't have money and I'm going to just trust God, put God first and see what happens and let him do his thing. As opposed to, you know, when you do have money, it's then very easy to not have to trust God. This is the balance, it seems. So that's the balance point for today anyway. Um, this could go into all sorts of things. Like I said, um, you know, probably one of the most difficult topics to talk about from the Bible or in the Christian world. But you know what? I decided today is the day to do that. So I've done a little bit. I have like pages and pages and pages of other notes that I've got and research that I've got on this topic. It's a very, very big topic, but I'm not going to go into all of that today. From now, I'm just going to, well, for now, sorry, I'm just going to let you sit with that thought and think about it. You know what, if you don't follow God, if you're not a Christian, maybe that means absolutely nothing to you, but maybe it was interesting to get some insight anyway. But either way, for all of you watching or have watched, will watch all the rest of it. Have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.